if Christianity were true and it meant you had to give up everything to follow God, would you want to know the truth? I was a mama's boy. I, uh, every time we went out somewhere, if I were scared, I would run up to my mom. Um, I would stay very close to her. If I were sick, I would put my head on her tummy. Um, I was very, very close to my mother. My earliest memories are of my mother every day sitting me next to her and having me put on my skull cap and showing me how to recite the Quran letter by letter. I finished the Quran when I was five years old and by that time I had memorized the last seven chapters so that I could recite them during the five daily prayers. To be raised Muslim in the United States was a point of pride because we believed uh, that we had the truth. In my freshman year of college, my best friend and I had many conversations about faith. and We argued all the time about Islam versus Christianity. But one specific day, he pulled me aside and he said, Nabil, if Christianity were true, and it meant you had to give up everything to follow God, would you want to know the truth? It took a long time before I was able to determine for myself even if I lose everything, it's worth it. And when my parents did find out, it was the most painful day of my life, probably the most painful day of their lives too. And I'll never forget the look in my mother's eye. Her whole life is Islam, just like my life was. And now my whole life is Christ. And there's just no, there's no, um, there's no connection anymore. But to have Christ in my life makes every loss worth it. My hope and my prayer for this book is that everyone who picks it up would draw closer to one another. Muslims by understanding the gospel, Christians by understanding the passion and the love that Muslims have, and ultimately through all of this, so that we can arrive at the truth and at a glory that will be given to God.